Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Taft OP Destiny episode number 5. Alright, the previous episode, um, uh, Lenny taught Taft and uh, Destiny to fight more effectively, how to properly use their skills, how, like, you know, how Taft should actually uh, conduct and flow with the harmony and how, um, what's the name, Destiny, how Destiny should follow Taft's movements and uh, which will make it a lot more easier to coordinate their uh, attacks and it'll take a lot lesser energy and it'll be very much helpful to duck because you know like he gets that red patch thing that you know like that happens if he overexerts himself and so this will help with that I, I think a little bit at least and they'll be able to fight more effectively and more properly and uh, like the thing that you're gonna like a small little incident happened the whole thing with the farm where there was like this government official who was taking money and not giving it to the farm doing their own thing you know in the like you know, using it in the casino and like corrupt government official typical corrupt government official they he like, you know he was brought to justice and everything went well we got proper training a little bit of training and lenny like you know went on his own way after that lenny and titan so probably we'll make them meet them in the future episodes i think so hopefully and for now they are all not all alone but they are traveling on their own now duck anna and cosette so yeah let's see what happens this episode so without further ado let's get started this is episode number five of duck op destiny I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Hmm. Warning. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh. Oh yeah, they they they, they found him. Okay. Oh my god, that voice. Um great. Well, these people will be a problem, I guess. Yeah, right. Okay. We understand. Hmm. <laughs> Great, so now someone is, someone is going to become a problem. Like, obviously, like, like, I don't know, like, this guy's voice, <laughs> like, it, it really sounds as if he is going to mess with us, you know, like that type of a voice. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Okay, these two. And this is Sagan, and I think like there's there's another girl with I think th those are music arts. So, all right. Hmm. One thing that I really like about this show is the character designs. It's so unique. Like, like even even that girl that we saw, um, uh, with, with that blonde-haired guy, 
that girl and the other girl in the opening like so unique character designs okay let's see oh my god are they pushing their car oh never mind <laughs> okay Oh boy, it punctured. Flat tire. Oh my god, what is she doing? What's she doing? Yeah. Um, don't eat that, please. Oh no! Thank God his leg did not get crushed under it. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Okay. Damn. Fast. Okay. Damn. It was it was just running away somewhere. Flash. Nice, effective. Oh no. Move. Oh. Move. God, she just stopped a train in the middle of the. Oh no! Is it is it that those guys? Oh no! Never mind. It's someone else. Damn. The character designs. Look at them. As I was saying, I love this anime's character designs. Wait, what the? Oh, they are here. Schindler. Um. Wait, what about our car? Great. Oh, there you go. Huh. <laughs> Doc is not even interested. Hmm, okay. Hmm, yeah. <laughs> eh. eh, she just wants food. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh. Wait, so there are types? Okay. Interesting. Felix. Felix. Felix, okay. Um... Yeah. Great. Ah.
Oke. Okay. Um, I think I probably won't like this guy. He, he has a very snobby way of talking. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I probably won't like this guy. He's the type that actually irritates me. I might be wrong though, let's see. Or we can just break the window and... Oh, she's keeping guard, okay. Hmm, okay. <laughs> oh my god he's just oh damn doctor <laughs> he doesn't care oh no d2 yep Okay, don't. I think she's going to break the whole. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, she broke the whole place. Oh no, it's attacking our car. Hmm. Oh boy, too many of them. Okay, so I'm guessing this girl is also music art? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Oh, alright. Damn. Wow, that was cool. Damn. Mm, a bit of overkill, but you know, it works. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. <laughs> She's like, you can you just dodge. I don't care. <laughs> okay, well, this is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> She's knocking. Oh great, now what? Half a day. Damn. Oh wait, oh they oh they this oh my god. <laughs> this oh my god. It was actually them who destroyed the okay. What? Um. Okay. Well. Wait. Wait a minute. Yeah. So how? Huh. 
Damn, this girl is crazy. Yeah. Accessory? Shoot! <laughs> well, that's nice. Okay, so it's asking. What? Oh, great. Yeah, I won't like this guy, most probably. Yeah, that, oh god. Yep, yeah, I won't like him. Ah, oh, this guy. More D2? Yep. Oh! Oh! What the? There's so many of them. Oh my god. Yeah, there's too many of them. <clears throat> or she can just blast it off. Ooh, nice. Okay. Damn, that was cool. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah. It's too much. I think this is when probably the other music art will start fighting. Yeah. So, okay. Well, it's understandable because, you know, like... What? Okay. Alright, so they're going to use the environment against it. That's nice. Or maybe not. What's he doing? Okay. Okay, there you go. They are using the environment, I think. Yeah. But these things are flying. Like, how will it work even? Wait, what? Oh. Wait, how did that even work? Weren't they flying? <coughs> <laughs> oh. 
ओ वालकिर है ये ओके शी डज लुक लाइक अ वैलकिर यू नो आ ग्रेट असुंदर है और कुदर है नॉट असुंदर है कुदर है ओ व्हाट द <laughs> the big boss is here <laughs> yeah she's not contracted hell or oh, that's her, her name jigoku or hell wo Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> She basically has all right. Dude, that's huge. Eh. Oh. Damn. Okay. That was too easy for her. Okay. Hmm. What? Yes. Oh great. <laughs> She's eating. <laughs> Need more calories. Oh great. What now? How about no? Mm, nah, I only care about playing piano. So <laughs> this guy, he's going to get. There you go. He's like, oh, why? Impossible! Nobody said no to me ever in my life. <laughs> like, how can this happen? Nobody has ever yeah ever declined my invitation. I'm angry. Yes, I'll hunt you down because you hurt my pride. Mm. <laughs> the sleeping yeah. <laughs> um okay <laughs> All right wow this episode was good uh. Okay so here like <coughs> so here um in this episode uh we see me <laughs> a cat i forgot his name anyways the blonde haired guy and i was pretty like you know like confirmed that i was not going to like him at all because i don't know he has this weird aura of like you know like oh like yeah i'm the best like nobody can uh, deny me uh, that type of an aura going on and 
that's one type of a character that I really don't like in anime, you know, this type of a character with personality. Like, he, like, you know, this character is the definition of, like, what can I say? If I had to compare him with someone, I would say that this guy reminds me of, uh, from Fate, the Fate franchise, he reminds me of Shinji from the Fate franchise. Like, he pretty much is kind of like that, like, oh, I'm the best, nobody can deny me, and, but there's one thing that's an exception is, like, in the Fate franchise, Shinji is, like, I don't know, like, incompetent, completely incompetent, while this guy probably is not like that, he, he, he has, or I, I'll have to say, like, his conductor has immense power. Which obviously is connected to him as well because he's like uh, no not his conductor his music art what am i even saying his music art is strong but which also probably like you know the reason why that is is because he's also powerful you know because music art and conductors are connected so that's why now <clears throat> okay here in this episode like as soon he as he was introduced i was like yeah ah this this guy will be a problem and yeah, by the end of it, I, I don't like him at all, and I don't know, like, what, like, he's probably going to be, like, the minor antagonist of this show. Not a major antagonist, but she'll probably be one of those minor antagonists, you know. So, that's probably what's going to happen, and, yeah, we'll see. But, okay, anyways, this episode here, uh, we see they get stuck in the middle of the road, and they meet this guy um what was his name anyways I, I i can't be bothered to search for his name <laughs> the blonde guy and hell or jigoku <clears throat> and valkyrie as well so <coughs> now here's wait, one thing uh so these music arts they are actually name of the scores aren't they let me check um uh, I think so. Like, I think they said that in one of the uh, episodes, uh, what, when, like, you know, uh, what, what's her name? Destiny was introduced. <clears throat> so, I think they, their names are actually... Like, I, I have no idea. As I said, like, I'm not that much familiar with piano. So, yeah, okay, here we go. Destiny is a music art named after Beethoven's Symphony number no. five in C minor, OP six. Oh, is that why the name is tucked OP Destiny? Oh, okay, okay. As I said, I have no idea about uh, like you know music, like and especially piano. So I probably won't be able to understand the references. And yeah, so she's Symphony number no. five. So I'm guessing Valkyrie is also like a um uh like name of a symphony. Let me check. Do they have that? Let's see. Valkyrie. Valkyrie Wagner's. Okay, there you go. Wagner's Die Valkyrie. Okay. So all of them. So that means all of them are related to uh, some kind of score. Or, or like, you know, not score, but uh, these, like, you know, symphonies, I'm guessing. Interesting. So that actually made me realize something, you know, that. <clears throat> All the Valkyries that, since Tark loves music and piano, all the Valkyries, the, uh, why am I saying Valkyrie? My god, I'm getting mixed up. Sorry, all the <laughs> music arts that uh, Tark will meet, he'll probably like all of them. Because he loves music. And, you know, like, there probably won't be a single uh, music art that he won't like or he won't get along with. Because he is, you know, he loves music. I think so at least I'm not sure so it's interesting to actually think about it like that because <clears throat> since these uh, music arts are actually based on symphonies and uh, Tuck is loves music it probably will be like that but I, I'm not sure let's just wait for it because you know like in this episode we kind of see how they were not getting along in the beginning Valkyrie and <clears throat> Tuck but in the end by the end they started getting along well and <clears throat> Latak himself says that is 
<coughs> you know, <coughs> Wagner, I think that's what, yeah, Wagner's <coughs> Valkyrie. Um, <coughs> yeah, Wagner's Die Valkyrie. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't dislike it. And that's what she said, he said in the beginning, uh, in the end. So, yeah, like, it's interesting to see, like, <coughs> how this will go. Because, you know, like, in every anime, there are probably characters who some characters get along with, who some characters won't get along with. But here, I'm guessing, like, all the musicals that he'll meet, he kind of get along with them, in a way, sooner or later, because he, he likes music. Maybe it's just me. I'm, maybe I'm just, like, you know, thinking too deep into this. But, yeah, anyways. <coughs> Uh, like hell, like we met hell in this episode. I like is hell also like related to something? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's not written here. Maybe might it, it might like she's also like a uh, <coughs> music art. So I'm guessing she's also related to the symphonies or something. So yeah, like we'll see. We'll get to know in the future. But yeah, so maybe hell as well. Like you know, by the end of it, like they'll get along well. Um, but probably <laughs> from the guy, the you know, like the, the the conductor, he's he's like a what can I say? <laughs> character, like a questionable character, especially in the end, as we see, he says that oh, I won't let you get away with this. So <clears throat> he won't probably get along with Duck, but. <clears throat> Hell, hell seems like you know those guy, one of those characters who's like, like an embodiment of chaos, like, <clears throat> like who just is like in a, like an in a neutral position all the time, and whenever there's like chaos and you know violence, like hell probably would go there, and she seems like that type of a character. So, yeah, she's she's like neutral, chaotic, or something like that. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyways, this episode, as I was saying, um. They get on the train and this guy starts, like, you know, like, <clears throat> I don't know what he was doing. He was getting, gaining more information from um, Anna as well after that, I guess. But <clears throat> he, like, you know, he was planning to actually, I don't know, do what, like, dispose them off or something or, like, do something with them. Like, you know, like, because in the previous scene, he said something like, if they get in our way, we'll just <clears throat> remove them. <coughs> will take care of them and <clears throat> after they meet in the train like i think he was just like you know like just underestimating them and like thinking about some kind of way to actually uh discard them or dispose them off or something he was planning something like that <clears throat> but then um all the d2s attack and like he sees dark fighting and <clears throat> I don't know, like probably like something actually struck him, I think, you know, when he saw him fighting and he kind of got a little bit distracted. Then after the end of the battle, he's like, yeah, you join me. You'll be under me. I'll be your leader or whatever he said, you know, I'll be the commander and you follow me. And <clears throat> like, I don't know what actually made him take that decision. He probably saw something intact, you know, he probably thought that, you know what, let me get this guy with us, so he'll, he'll probably come, you know, like, be of use in the future. He, he, he probably thought of something like that, so that's why he suddenly, like, you know, extended an invitation to him. But Tuck was like, nah, I like music, I don't care. <laughs> oh boy. And then, yeah, like... <laughs> And that reaction in the end was something that I was very much expecting, you know. He's like, like, you dare oppose me, you dare deny my, um, like, you know, like, offer? How dare you? I'll get you. I'll get you and show you, like, you know, <laughs> who's in charge here. You hurt my pride. I'll, I'll definitely get you. Like, that was like a very typical reaction I, that I was expecting. Because he seems like a person who never, like, you know, he ne who, who's never rejected about something. He some, seems like that type of person. He seems like a type of person who got everything that he wanted in his life. And he doesn't know how to properly react to 
uh, denial or rejection that type of a person so these type of persons will always act like this you know if they don't get what they want they'll act like a little brat and <clears throat> that's probably what he's going to do like <clears throat> I'm sorry if this guy actually in the, you know in the future episodes if he actually turns out to be de a decent person I'm sorry I'm 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 actually <laughs> I'm really like you know going against this guy uh, like like you know like and this is barely he was introduced in this episode so I'm saying like I'm sorry if he actually gets some kind of redemption in the later episodes or he actually becomes a decent person but <laughs> like this episode this introduction episode where he was introduced he he really did not actually paint a good picture at least in my eyes so i'm, I'm and as i said like you know, I, I basically do not like these type of characters in anime like these type of characters who just like you know look down on people you know, they just like doesn't care they've never like you know had like you know, they, they've never gotten rejected about something they think that they are like some kind of a uh like you know superior human being and the way they talk, the snobby attitude, the way they, he kind of disregards everyone else other than himself. And uh, like, you know, this type of uh, immensely prideful character who just, I don't know, like, tr like, demeans people. These type of characters, I, I hate them. I really don't like these type of characters. And that's probably why, like, you know, as soon as he was introduced in this episode and as we see more of him, you know, I'm I'm and I'm not just like you know his personality is not not actually like up like you know up, up to my liking and that's why I'm probably going a bit too hard on him even though this is the first episode this he's been introduced in. <laughs> if we actually like you know, if we actually see that he becomes a like you know, he's a decent person in the future episodes, it'll be good. But I doubt that's going to happen. He he really does seem like a nasty type of a person, but we'll see. <clears throat> like you know like yeah so <laughs> that was it okay so uh, another thing that happened here is like we get to know about music arts who don't have conductors and they actually like you know like they i'm guessing they use their the power on their own and so this this really like you know this this anime really kind of reminds me of the fate franchise where there's like you know like masters and their servants and like you know they're connected and how servants take their uh, like you know the mana from their masters to actually uh, remain in this world like that type of a situation you know even though like you know like without a master's servants can't exist for much longer but here we can see that without a conductor a music art can exist but they'll have limited amount of power so that's a little bit different but still like you know this 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 the whole thing of this show is kind of reminding me of that and like so we'll always see one music art and one conductor now here's one thing um i wonder if like you know if there's like a character who we'll meet in the future who have multiple music arts with them you know like i wonder about that like like i don't know like maybe so we'll see about that so <clears throat> yeah now another thing here is like well so so valkyrie was dismissed i guess like you know like when the the commander the, that guy that blonde guy he says that we're changing plans we'll do the rest of it you are like, you know like we don't need you anymore and like so okay so i don't know like but what can i say like I'm thinking, like, why is she even working in this, like, you know, in, the, in this like, thing? I, th I think she's basically, well, I'm talking about Valkyrie. I'm, guess, I'm thinking, like, basically, I, I think she, he's basically, she's basically working here because of her, <clears throat> I don't know, like, probably, like, her sense of justice or something. Like, she seems like a person who is uh, very, like, you know, uh, like, wants to uh, protect the justice and, like, you know, a person who is very, like, you know, uh, what do you call it? Prim and proper. So I think that's why probably she started working in this because I doubt she gets paid for this. Or maybe she does. Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking weird stuff now. Like I'm thinking like, does she get a salary or something? Like she's working here. So, <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. Like why I'm even thinking about these things. But like, like, you know, like if she had a conductor, I would be like, okay, like the conductor, maybe she, like, you know, he is kind of, 
connected with this thing and maybe he's like doing a job here maybe he's employed by them and you know the music artist is also accompanying them but she's just a lone music artist so i wonder why she's actually doing this job was doing this job here so yeah like obviously like she she even though she's a music artist, music artist like oh wait uh music artists don't need to eat do they i think um destiny kind of said something about that in one of the previous episode yeah i think so oh so yeah, I wonder, like, if, if music, like, I'm not sure about this, if music guys don't need to eat, then uh, I doubt they would need to do anything. They could just, like, you know, like, do nothing and they'll be fine, I guess. So, yeah, if that's really the case, if, if music guys don't need to eat, you know, <clears throat> they don't, don't need to sustain themselves, like, you know, so... I'm guessing if that's really the case, Valkyrie, I think, is probably was just probably doing this for, you know, because this is like a good thing, a good cause. And as I said, like, she, you know, she, she seems like a very good person, uh, a person who, like, you know, wants to maintain justice and wants to do the good for people. That's why probably she was doing this work, because she thought that, yeah, doing this will help people. So, yeah, but in the end, we see that, how that guy kind of says that, ah, we don't need you. The work is done and that really shows how you know like the way she, she he kind of addressed music arts in the previous scene where he said that music arts are just weapons you know so <clears throat> yeah all that like stuff like that so that really shows us that yeah he, he is that type of a person <clears throat> now here's another thing that i think hell said here now okay she says that she hell says that I'm talking about Valkyrie. She has yet to bond with a conductor. Um, all the more reason to go after her. Now, this statement makes me think that the thing that I was talking about previously that does can one <clears throat> conductor have me multiple music arts. This one statement makes me think that yes, that is probably possible. Otherwise, why would hell even say that to Duck? You know, because Tuck already has a music card. So, because I, I think like most probably the reason why people don't take multiple music cards is because of the stress uh, or the strain in their body, you know, because, you know, like the, they kind of uh, take the energy from their conductors while fighting. So, like, especially strong music cards like Hell would probably like, you know, like it would probably be impossible for their conductor to have another music art because hell herself would take up all the energy because she's so damn strong and she's so damn powerful so that's probably why i'm, I'm guessing uh most probably conductors only keep one music art with them otherwise their own life would be in danger i think it's something like that um yeah most probably so we'll see and I'm, I'm sure they're going to explain this thing in the future and okay that was that and the main part of this show uh, is the introduction of hell now we see like uh, again like i love the character designs of this show so very much destiny looks amazing um uh valkyrie looks amazing hell looks amazing and even the other characters that we kind of got a little bit glimpse in the openings all of them look so amazing like even the, the other girl i don't know who she is the one who was with who was with sagan uh, the blue, the, the girl with blue eyeliner and like wearing a white dress, that girl. Like all of the character designs are so good and I, I really love, this is probably the part of the show that shines the most. There's the character designs. Like it's so damn interesting. <clears throat> and um, so yeah, as I was saying, like we see Hell, you know, Hell's power over here, um, Hell or Jigoku. And she just one kicks the, <laughs> the, the, the D2, the big D2, and just destroys it. And that, that really showcases her power. She's so damn strong. And I really like the way she kind of transformed. Like, you know, her legs kind of transformed into some kind of roller blades or something. And that was cool. So that was just a basic glimpse, I, I, I think. And I'm sure, like, she is capable of loads more. So... In the future we'll see we'll probably see her full power in the future and i'm, I'm quite interested in that because hell seems like an interesting character and you know as i said she's like 
like an embodiment of chaos and that type of character you know like always goes to those type of place where there's violence and chaos happening and they just want to like you know like you know like f like you know thrash around and fight so it'll be interesting to see her going berserk <laughs> you know so yeah we'll see but she is crazy as we saw you know she's like going to destiny and she's like oh your eyes look really nice i can I, i'll probably make ornaments of them can you give them give them to me <laughs> and destiny is like i politely declined and she's like okay understandable <laughs> crazy conversation <laughs> so yeah anyways so that's it that was this episode um uh, I'm, I'm sure this guy will probably come in the future and try to mess things up and yeah i hope <laughs> i hope he does not annoy me too much <laughs> we'll see that's it thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to tucked op destiny episode number five so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that's it so thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of tucked op destiny until then, goodbye and have a nice day.